the bowline on a byte is the most important not to build a central point on a belay or to build a belay sling. Today I'll show you how to tie it. Hey guys, welcome to the high ground. My name is Fabio and today I'll show you how to tie a bowline on a bite. Today we're already venturing into the area of multi-pitch climbing. Whenever you climb multi-pitch, you have to somehow build a belay. Sometimes it's already almost there. Sometimes you have to do a lot of stuff yourself. But regardless in which situation, you will always need a central point for your belay. The central point is the point where you clip in yourself, where you secure yourself to, and it is also the point where you belay a partner off from. Now this central point can either be a carabiner or it can be a double bowline knot, as I show you here, on a sling. There are advantages and disadvantages to both versions. I will show you just today how to tie this knot. We will go into how to actually build a belay in a later video. Why do we take this knot and not just a figure of eight as a central point and then put our carabiner into the figure of eight? The reason is mainly that as we learned until now, at least if you watch my other videos, what you should do, as we learned every knot in a piece of sling decreases it break, its breaking strength. And this knot is particularly good in not really doing that. So you only have a very minor decrease in breaking strength compared to a figure of eight or an overhand knot, etc. So this is why we want to use this knot. Additionally, it's a knot that is very easy to open when it has been under load. Okay. I will open up this one and then I'll show you how to tie it. So we start off with our open sling and mind you, take enough material on this side where you actually tie the knot because you need more than you think. We start with a simple overhand knot and completely finish it. It pays to be already a little bit peculiar when you do this overhand knot because when the, the sling is parallel in here, it makes the knot that it makes tying the knot later much easier. So now we have this end and we want to have the knot on this side. If we follow the overhand, and I will show you this in detail later, when we follow the overhand, we have one bend that goes directly into the sling. We throw the sling over this band and then we pull it back like this. Okay, then we can tidy it up a little bit. As you can see, it of course tends to turn around because it's a sling, but we are almost good here. Yes. Okay, let's have a look at it in detail. First, we tie a simple overhand, like this. And as I said, make sure that the overhand is all neat and tidy. Now you can see you have the sling here and this band directly leads into the sling. We fold the sling back Again, make sure it is tidy. And then we pull at this band that leads into the sling. Like this. And here you go. This is the knot. No issue at all. And that's already it. That's how you tie a double bowline on a bite. This knot is not only useful for a belay, but it can also be useful to 
set up a party, for example, for glacier travel or for easy rock scrambling when you want to have several people on the same rope because instead of, for example, an alpine butterfly coil in the middle of the rope, you can also do this knot and have people tie into this knot and if they fall, it's easy to open and it's a very safe knot. Okay, I hope you found this very brief video helpful. It's a knot that is not often shown, but it is very important for building belays. Check out the other videos. I hope you liked that video. Give me a thumbs up if you did so. <laughs> Otherwise, please also let me know in the comments what I could do better. Follow the channel. I'm doing a lot of stuff every week. And yeah, thank you very much. I really appreciate the time you spent here and I'll see you next week.